YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? This you got Professor Smell Good and we back, baby. All right, you guys, how you guys doing today, man? It's a beautiful day outside, a little cloudy. Weather's perfect to me. It's perfect to me. I'm over here on the east side, man, by a uh, football field right here. Pioneers football field. Anyhow, yeah, man, just... Uh, Take a little walk, and I want to just share some share some thoughts with you guys. Share my thoughts with you guys. Um, this guy, his name is Mr. Smell Good, Look Good, have done something that has never ever been done in history in the African American oil game community. He did something that has never ever been done in history, man. I want you guys to listen to this. Has never, ever been done in history. Never, ever. I don't know anybody that has done this. In five years, in five years, Mr. Smell Good, Look Good. If you don't know what Mr. Smell Good, Look Good is, I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to share the video below so you can check out this video, okay? Where, you know, he was the one that actually introduced the wagon. He was the one that came up with the, came up with the idea of taking the push wagon, put his oils in there along with socks, oils, incense, black soap. Um, socks, all of that, hats, all of that. He was the first one to actually do that. This man has done something that has never ever been done ever, but not that's 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 not the most remarkable thing about it. The most remar remarkable thing about it is that he came up in five years. He came up, I'm talking about came up off the oil game in a matter of five years. I I don't know too many people that did that. I'm, I'm, being, I'm just being honest with you. Two stores? Two stores. Two. I don't know. This camera kind of dark a little bit. Man. Anyhow. But he came up off the oils in, in, in five years. He got two stores. Two stores. Not one. Two stores. And he, he got all of that from the wagon? Bruh. That, that, that deserves respect, man. That, de that deserves respect. You got to I don't care who you are, whether you like him or you don't like him. When it comes to that man's hustle, you got to respect what that man did. You have to. You have to. I'm going to be honest. I haven't even got to the point where he's at. I respect the fact that he got up there and I look at him as an inspiration for myself. In five years, this, this brother came in. He started with a wagon. With one wagon. From the wagon, he got a store out there in Jersey, right? North New Jersey. Then from one store, he got another store. From pushing a wagon? Bro, come on, man. That, hey, that right there deserves respect, man. That deserves respect right there, man. Just like I said, I don't know too many, I don't know too many guys. I, listen, I cannot recall. I can't even, I know a lot of guys that sell oils. I myself sell oils. I do not know anyone. I do not know anyone that has ever done that. Never. In five years, I'm talking about not, not in the Bengali community because, of course, they did it. Not in the Arab community that opened up oil shop. No, 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 no. I'm talking about from somebody that started from scratch. In the African-American community, started from nothing. Started from a wagon. Started from maybe 25 oils, a selection of 25 oils. Maybe 10, 10, 10 black soaps or maybe uh, 20 packs of incense. In five years? In five years. I don't know nobody has done that. I know a brother, and I, I will say his name, but obviously I talked to the brother. He said he don't want to be on YouTube. But this brother from Los Angeles, African-American Muslim brother, he started selling incense. I think it was in the 70s. Walking around selling incense. Now this brother, got a, he got a big store in Los Angeles. I've been to the store. You know, uh, he don't want me to mention his name, so I, I respect, I got to respect that. But I, wanted, I, I, I actually just talked to him so I can, you know, so people can actually benefit in court, uh, according to, uh, benefit along with myself. But I respect the fact that he don't want his name to be mentioned. I respect that. But anyhow, you know, he, he took the oil game to the next level, but it took him not five years. It took him, if I'm not mistaken, over probably 10 to 15 years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Allah, Allah knows best. But five years, nobody's never done that, man. I don't know nobody that's done that. 
I don't know nobody that's done that. I know God, I mean, I've been selling oils for quite some time, and I'm trying to get to where he is. I'm trying to get, and the thing is about it, he's, he's not even a wholesaler. He's a retailer. He buys it, sells it, restock. Normally when you hear people that got two stores, it's normally people that are wholesalers. They're selling weight. Man, that that's 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 mind blowing, bro. That is mind blowing, man. That's mind blowing. That's something I should learn from. You know, without doing wholesale, here it is. I'm a wholesaler, and I still haven't got to that point. But he's a retailer. It's something I need to learn from that. It's something that Professor Smell Good needs to learn from that. That wagon. I'm gonna tell you something. All of you guys that sell oils, especially especially if you're in a place. That all four seasons is pretty, pretty, tol- uh, pretty uh, decent and, and, and uh, tolerable weather. Weather that can actually be tolerated without the harsh winter. Pull out that wagon. Follow him. I mean, take take his example. That's a good example. Follow his example. He took the wagon because, and actually, if you think about it, it makes sense because if you got a store or you got a shop, you know what happens when you got a store. When you got a store or you got a shop, you know what normally happens? What normally happens is that if you got a store or a shop, is that, um, of course, you got to pay overhead. You got to pay your taxes and things like that. You got to file your taxes, right? You got to pay the rent. You got to pay lights, gas, right? And then up on top of that, you still got to be stopped. You got to do all of that. But with the wagon, all you got to do if, you know, in your... Your city, you just go to City Hall and you get a, uh, a foot vendor's license or um, a mobile license where you're selling products and you're on foot, right? And I think you probably pay like $150, $150 or $200 a year and you ain't got to pay no rent and all that. The extra money you use for the rent, that goes directly to your pocket. That's pretty smart, man. That is, that is actually very, very, very smart, man. So um, I'm telling you guys, man. The best way to take the oil game to the next level, especially until you actually get a store, the wagon. I'm not knocking, listen, I'm not knocking no brothers. I'm not knocking no brothers that walk around selling oils because I used to walk around selling oils. But that was at a time where I didn't know too much about, I didn't know, I didn't develop the, the, um, the information of how to take the oil game to the next level. I started off walking around selling oils, but I haven't did that since, right? Still got the shop on the east side of Detroit, close to downtown. But I'm there every Saturday, by the way. Um, but it's a, I forgot what I was talking about. I hate when I do that. I get into the zone, man, and then I just forget my train of thought. But, I, yeah, walking thing, you know, but I'm not walking around no more. I know brothers, they still walk around, but I'm saying to myself, like, man, why would you walk around when you could just get a wagon? But it's crazy because when you tell people that and you tell them, like, listen, man, you know, get a wagon. Get a wagon like Mr. Smell Good Look Good. They say, oh, man, listen, I'm going to sell oils the way that I want to sell it. Yes, you can sell oils the way you want to sell it, but, I mean, do, how far do you want to take it? How far do you want to take it? Or do you want to go out of business like we normally see? Follow that, man, follow that man's lead. You know, Mr. Smell Good Look Good. I ain't gonna lie, listen, when I first watched this video, I got the chills, I had chills going through my body, cause I was like, yo, it's a brother named Khalifa, he was the one that introduced me to it, and I was like, man, that's deep, the brother had a wagon, pushing that wagon all around Jersey, North New Jersey, and I thought that was interesting because it's like it's a mobile store, right? The store goes with you. As opposed to, you know, you got oils in your trunk to take it you set it on the table, which is a traditional way that we have been seeing for so many years. This brother said, no, take the store with you. Take it with you. And now, it's actually now, um, it's a little bit different now because now he was the first one to introduce the wagon. Okay. My little brother... Um, what's I forgot his uh, his oil na- oil game name. Uh, it makes sense. It makes sense. No, it's it's not. It makes sense. It's something else. 
But no, but that's the name of his business. It makes sense. So I think it's Mr. Sense. Yeah, Mr. Sense. That's his name. But anyhow, he was the one that said, listen. Let me get a fold. Let me get a, a wagon that actually folds up. That's why I, I, I got that idea from him when I was out in Los Angeles and I had the wagon. I got that idea from him because I said it makes sense because you could just fold it up and put it in the back of your trunk. But yeah, man, the wagon, that's the key. If you want to take the oil game to the next level, wagon is the way to do it, man. Wagon is the way to do it. At least until you get it, uh, get to the point where you can actually get a store. But until then, man, this you got Professor Smilga. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to post the link below, Mr. Smell Good Look Good video, and I want you to check it out, all three of his, uh, I think he got like three or four uh, videos, and um, if Mr. Smell Good Look Good, if he's watching this, I, I would actually recommend, I would recommend him to actually make videos, just like I'm doing, because you know, his videos, even I will watch the videos, you know, just like, there are some guys on YouTube that talk about the oils, I even watch their videos as well, why, because I am professor smell good, which means that a, a real professor is also still a student. I'm a student of the oil game, right? And I'm still learning things. There's guys that's been selling oils longer than me, but I still take notes from them because they do something and they do something in the area where I don't do well, so I have to learn from them. And, and that's not easy to do for for the average person. For me, alhamdulillah, thanks to thanks, thanks to Allah subhanahu wa taala, it's easy for me. But you have to be humble in order to grasp that nature. You know, because most guys, you know, when they're doing a certain thing, they be like, you know what, man, I don't want nobody else telling me how to do it. So they just do their own way. But you got to learn from somebody. You know, I'm telling you, like, there's some guys on YouTube talk about the oils. I learn some, I watch the videos and I learn from them. Some of them I don't, I don't watch the videos because they got motives. You know, but uh, some guys, you know, if your intentions as well, of course, I learn from, I benefit from them. And I said, you know, oh, wow, that's pretty interesting. I can incorporate that to the way that I do business to make, to make it better for me. Uh, besides that, man, it's pretty much it, man. She got Professor Smell Good, man. I thank you guys for watching. And we on the east side of Detroit, man. Thank you. All right, so listen, you know, I stopped making the video, right? Hold on, let me, let me clear my lens. All right, so I, I stopped making the video, right? Right after I stopped making the video, my little brother called me. Mr. Sense called me, the one I was talking about in the previous, in the same video that I made before I cut it off. He called me. And he told me, and I told him I was making a video about Mr. Smell Good Look. And he told me, he said, you know he made the news, right? I was like, really? He said, yeah. He said he made the news. Um, they call him the hero in the community. He got a business because of his business, got two stores, right? Bro, that's huge, man. He made the news. He doing so good. His, his hustle. Can't nobody tell me that hustling don't pay off, man. Can't nobody tell me hustling do not pay off, man. When you work hard... Hard work actually does pay off. I'm telling you, hard work pays off. So nobody can actually tell me that hard work don't pay off. Hard work actually does pay off. The governor and the mayor, the governor and the mayor of Jersey, they saw what he did. You see what I'm saying? They saw what he did, and he got enough attention that he, they saw what he did. The governor and the mayor of Jersey, and they called him the hero of the community. That's huge, man. That's huge, man. I take my hat off to Mr. Smell Good Look Good for that. Whether people like him or you don't like, like him, it doesn't matter. You got to respect that man's hustle. You got to respect his hustle. What he did has never, ever been done before, ever, ever in the African-American oil game. Nobody has ever done that. Ever. You got to follow him on that, man. You got to follow him. You know, it's something that we should learn from him about it. I'm hoping that he watched this, man, so he can actually start making videos on YouTube. And let people watch it, including myself. She got Professor Smell Good, man. Thank you guys for watching.